Permeability is a much better perk than you think. While on paper it looks essentially just to be osmosis for energy slot, it has some key advantages over osmosis that a lot of people gloss over. So I'm going to essentially build a case for the perk based on five key advantages, some of them similar to osmosis, while others are completely unique to permeability itself. One of these advantages include a very unique benefit when paired with another perk, which I'll talk about later on. So starting with the first advantage, which is triple strand and stasis loadouts. With osmosis, you can achieve triple elemental loadouts for arc, void, and solar, but there's no way to do this with strand or stasis because there are no strand or stasis energy weapons, meaning you can not only synergize with your builds, but you can run weapons like Riptide or Scatter Signal with the ability to match those same elements and synergize with their elemental damage, which leads me to advantage number two, subclass verb and fragment synergy. Since you can change this to match whatever subclass you are running, it can also synergize with subclass verbs like Scorch for Solar, Sever for Strand, Slow for Stasis, Volatile for Void, and Jolt for Arc, as well as subclass fragments, for example, Rebirth for Strand, which creates Threadlings while getting Strand Weapon Kills, or Thread of Propagation, which grants Unraveling Rounds to your Strand Weapons after getting a melee kill. And this isn't just limited to Strand, this is true for any subclass. So say you love the perk Onslaught, but it's a brand new perk limited to only a few weapons and weapon elements. Well, auto rifles like Ross Arago can roll with Onslaught and Permeability together, meaning you can turn this Void auto rifle into a Strand, Stasis, Solar, or Arc auto rifle that can not only utilize Onslaught, but also take advantage of all the subclass verbs as well as relative fragments. This leads me to advantage number three, Seasonal and Endgame Versatility. Since this can synergize with whatever subclass you are running, this means you can adapt your weapon to benefit from the current seasonal artifact mods no matter what the elements are. You can also take advantage of surges for that week, as well as taking full advantage of weapon surge mods in the energy slot, as well as exotics like Foe Tracer, which give you four stacks of weapon surge mods, or even a greater advantage using the harmonic siphon mods when running strand or stasis to get extra orbs. Leading me to advantage number four, it elevates Golden Tricorn. Golden Tricorn is one of the strongest damage perks in PvE, with the ability to do 50% damage at two stacks, by first getting a weapon kill, then getting an ability melee or grenade kill that matches the element of the weapon. So say you love the auto rifle Rosarago because it can roll with Golden Tricorn, but you want to use it to synergize with your Strand, Solar, or Arc melee builds, while still being able to use weapons like Scatter Signal, Riptide, Nox Perennial, Sword Breaker, Supremacy, among many other great kinetic weapons. It also means you can use just one weapon to utilize Golden Tricorn on every subclass without having to grind for other weapons because now Rosarago is basically a Swiss army knife. As for advantage number five, this perk mostly shows up in the third column on primary weapons, unlike Osmosis which typically runs in the fourth column, meaning you can pair this with other damage perks or other perks of your choosing. In most weapons, the best perk is typically in the fourth column with a supporting perk in column three. Now I know I said there's only five advantages, but there's actually a bonus advantage, and that's that it can synergize with osmosis. Bungie even hints at this with the logo design of each perk when placed side by side, and while some of you may argue that you lose the buff when you switch weapons, you have to keep in mind these are attached to proccing with your abilities, and since abilities are so potent in Destiny, and you're constantly using your grenade, your class ability, you're going to passively proc them likely anyways, so the concern of having to reproc the buffs is really not an issue unless you make it one. Now understand, I'm not saying permeability is a must run perk, and I certainly don't think it's worth running on every weapon. But but at the very least, it gets you to be aware of what it can do beyond the perk osmosis, and it might be a perk worth trying out for yourself and keeping your eye on for future weapons. 